Guys, so as I mentioned, the blue and white game had a total of nine penalty minutes, all received by one man and one man alone, America's most wanted, Oh, that was me! <laughs> I'm not America's Most Wanted. I'm just a man convicted of the wrong crime. A free man! <sighs> Clearly it's getting late, and I've been doing this too long because I'm getting excessively energized or delirious. I don't know. But guys, let's let the footage do the talking. As I mentioned in my last video, I wore my U-Hawk camera during the entire game and captured from my perspective the game check this out guys <laughs> i got ball <laughs> push up push up <laughs> He can't see that place. Blazer, whoa, whoa. You want to? You want to fuck? That's it. That's it. We're good. You want to? Let's go. 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 You want to slash like that? You gotta answer the bell. You gotta answer the bell if you're gonna slash. Yeah. Answer the bell. Fuck you, yeah, fuck you. Come on, come on then. Come on, tough guy. I won't hit you. I'll just hit him. Well, don't slash if you can't take it. This ain't field. Man up. So that, that first penalty, uh, let's say it was to set the tempo. Yeah, look, nothing against Ryan Walsh. The guy is a beauty. Um, big dude, nonetheless. He's got a ton of potential when it comes to box lacrosse. Tough guy. Clearly, he took a punch to the face, soaked it like a beast. But it wasn't unwarranted. I know on social media, guys are like, Bill's a goon. Why would you punch him? Guys, it's the principle of the matter. And if you listen closely, listen, you hear a whoosh in the beginning of that video. Well, that is actually a slash to my leg. And look, if you don't believe me, let's go to the third person perspective and take a look. You don't want to play that way in box unless you're willing to answer the bell. And clearly, um, it was taken care of by the referees. Great job, refs. Um, and I think it helped set the, set the tempo. So, I love it. Hey, look, and before that, I, I laid a big hit on Ryan. Ryan laid me out at center field. And we don't have to see that footage because, look... Yeah, but no, we were just throwing our bodies around and, and the intensity was there, like I said. So let's look at penalty number, and wait, 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 before we go and look at penalty number two, what do you guys think? Was that founded, well-founded uh, retaliation? 
I don't know. I'll leave it to you to decide. Comment below. But now let's look at penalty number two. Oh, by the way, that, that penalty you guys just saw, I only got a penalty for the punch to the nose. It was a two minute roughing penalty. I respect it, good call. Gotta take control of the game. Second penalty. All right, let's check it out. For what? That was a ball. Oh my God. That was a clean. I broke the stick and I pushed him. You broke the stick. Now, when you kick the ball, you pop the side of his head. I got it on camera. I can see it. Okay. You see that? We'll see it. I'll send you the replay. Okay. So, watching it first, you're thinking, Bill kicked that guy in the head? That guy is none other than Josh Hawkins, a beloved commentator on Lack Sports Network, or was, and a great lacrosse player. I did not kick him in the head. He's probably one of the nicest guys I know. Look, uh, as he's on his fast break, I met him. I cross-check him. My stick breaks, so I drop my stick. I put my hands on him, and I throw him as hard as I can, and he falls. Well, I don't have a stick in my hand, so what do I do? I try to kick the ball out of his stick. From the ref's angle, it looks like I'm kicking him in the head. That's not a good look, especially after you just punched a man in the nose. You don't want to go and kick a man in the head who's down. Couldn't catch a break. Bad angle from the ref's perspective, so I'll give him that. And I told him, hey, I'd send him the footage. Look, guys, I'll, I'll put it in slow-mo. Look at the reflection on the glass. You see clearly my stick, or excuse me, his stick on the ground, and my foot kicking the head of his stick, the ball coming out, then the whistle gets blown. Blah, zay, blah. I believe that was two minutes as well. Good old-fashioned two minutes for kicking a man in the head. It was awesome because the signs the ref gave, <laughs> he touched his foot, touched his head, kicking to the head. I was like, that's a first for me. <sighs> well, let's look at the last two minute penalty that actually, those first two were two minute penalties. This is a five minute penalty I received. Um, a five minute penalty. I'm going to show you from my perspective. This is what it looks like. I'm here, I'm here. Get up, Cody. You're high. to a ball carry who's cutting across. I slide with body. I've done it all game. This is another hit that I made earlier in that game. That one was clean. Heart, heart, Mitch, you're high. Why is it shot So what's the difference? The difference was in the first hit, I got a five minute penalty for supposedly cross-checking to the head. Cross-checking to the head. I lead with the shoulders, baby. Come on, I played Division I AA football at Sacred Heart University. Shoe fam! I know Miami does this, but shoe does too. Shoe fam. So I know how to hit people. Um, let's look at it from a third person perspective 
and you tell me if I cross check my man in the head. <laughs> So those were the penalties, guys. I'd like to get your opinion. Comment below. Let me know what you think because I'm very curious. Um, and like I said, the game was intense. Maybe I was a little too intense considering I got nine minutes of penalties. No one else got one. But hopefully a man like Reggie Thorpe, the head coach, liked the intensity. Let's hope. What do you guys think? If the glove don't fit, you must acquit. Does the evidence I've provided here show you that at least seven minutes of those penalties weren't penalties at all? They were just good, hard-nosed, snot bubbles and earwax lacrosse being played. That's what I like to think. Either way, let me know your thoughts. Comment below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel because there will be more action coming your way. I promise you that. Guys, it's always a pleasure. That was my LaxCon weekend. If you want to check out the other two videos I did about LaxCon, you can click here, you can click there, or to subscribe to my YouTube channel, right there. I'm figuring this thing out. Watch out now. Thanks, guys.